Hey guys, it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I haven't found a lot of information on this, so I wanted to sort of touch on it. We're gonna be setting the base timing on the Speedwino, so it's pretty simple. Um, you obviously need a timing gun and your laptop, and that's about it, so let's go ahead and get started. So first step to setting timing is you need to get your car up to operating temperature. You can see we're at 189 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're good to go. Next, you need to come in here in Tuner Studio, go to Spark, Spark Settings, and then right here, enable fixed locked timing. You need to turn that on and you need to set this um, number to whatever you want your base timing to be. So Miata's, you know, straight from the factory are 10 degrees. Most people suggest running 14, that's what I run. So you're gonna hit burn and now it's gonna be idling at 14. So you can open up this tuning real time display and you can see right here, we're at 14 degrees. All right, so with the car up to temp, you can see we're locked at 14 degrees. Our idle is just a tad high, so we're at, let's see, 970. That needs to be between 850 and 950. We're just going to come over here. We're going to turn this down a little bit. And then go back and check. Maybe a little bit more. All right, that should be good. Yep, looking good. You can see we're at about 900. That's perfect. So now, so once you got your idle set and your timing is locked on your laptop, grab your gun, set it to zero, hit it with your timing gun. You need the mark to line up just like it would stock. So it's going to be pretty hard to see. I'll try to free stream it. But the dot is exactly on 14 degrees. That's what you want. So if the dot's off, adjust your cast just like you always would. Loosen up that 12 mil on the back, move your cast up and down until it matches on the crank and you're done, that's it. I know it's a pretty short video, but this is a pretty simple, straightforward process. Just please make sure you set your timing before you go romp it on the car. The timing that the engine is seeing needs to match the timing that the ECU is commanding, that's it. So once you've got that knocked out, make sure you come back over here you can close out your real-time display, come back in here to spark, spark settings, and just turn this fixed angle back to off. Fans just kicked on, that's why the car is doing funny stuff, but that's it, you're done. So if we come back in here to real-time, I have my base timing set at 14, so you can see it still looks like it's locked, but if I come in here, I have it idling at 14 anyway, so we're good to go. That's all there is to it, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully I have more stuff planned. Uh, I was trying to buy another Miata, but it fell through. And then I tried to buy a second Miata and it fell through. So I'm trying to get some content out, but just gotta be patient with me. Um, hope this video helped and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.